It's another day on the Struggle Farm. Welcome to episode 10. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Shib fam? We are back with another episode of the Struggle Farm on No Man's Land. We have a lot to do this month to get ready for next month. And that includes cutting in a new field, which means my favorite, we get to use an old mower, an old tether, an old windrower. Stick around. I think you guys are going to enjoy this episode as much as I do. Definitely got to get that intro um, fixed. Our merch is no longer coming soon. It is here. Um, for those of you that are interested, I always leave a link in the description of the video. Let's get this on out. I think I pointed this out last time where I wanted the new field to be. So just real quickly, let's take a look at this. So we have a field that we did, we created out back of the house, and then the one we're next to is out front of the house. Now we also own the uh, parcel for 36. So that's where we're gonna cut this new one in. So it's gonna be right up here by the road, out by our sign, I, I believe, out by our sign. There's our sign way out there. Eventually, once we get enough money, I'd like to put some cows over here. Um, but for now, we're going to focus on this side of the, uh, of the property. So we are going to do some mowing. This is where the field's going to be. I'm going to kind of create it the same width as the field that's down in front of the house. And... Uh, this will be where our canola will be. So we have canola. You uh, you plant it in August, so we've we've got a month, and then our our barley or wheat we have until like September or, or October. This is one of my favorite parts of farm sim. Anybody that watches my live streams know that I absolutely love mowing, uh, tethering, and. Uh, bailing or, or windrow. I love all of it. Uh, I just think that Farms, I think Giants did a really good job with the animation. And I think modders have taken it a step further and made those uh, animations so much better. So we're, we're going to mow a big clip. I don't think that it'll be it'll, it'll the field of gold this far, but hey, we might as well make a little bit of extra cash, right? I've been trying to come up with new ideas for our next farm sim series on YouTube. And everything I come up with, I feel like somebody's already doing it or somebody's doing it now. And it just doesn't seem like a an original idea. So I'm open to suggestions. If you have an idea or a suggestion for our next farm sim series on YouTube, let me know in the comments. I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to ideas. Um, because I think that's part of building a, a strong community is let's all um, you know, let's all think together, collaborate together uh, as far as like, you know, the next idea. In addition, since we're on the subject, if you haven't hit the like button yet and you're still watching, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you're new here, you like the content and you want to see more of it, do me a big favor, hit the sub button, join us uh, on our journey to our first 1,000 subs. We're less than 200 away now. Join this uh, amazing, amazing community. This tractor seems to do it all. We've used it for mowing and tethering and windrowing. 
we used it uh, to chase the harvester. Um, we've used it to plow the fields. Uh, we are getting our use out of this tractor. But uh, I've really enjoyed this uh, this tired iron type of farming, the old equipment. And uh, I, I, I feel like I might not have a respect for it. I, I shouldn't say that. I respect all types of farming. I respect all farmers. They work hard uh, 365 days a year. You know, they don't take time off. Like, I'm, I'm so in awe of what farmers do. So I was, uh, I'm talking, you know, specifically on a farm sim level. I never really enjoyed the smaller fields, the smaller equipment, um, but I've, I've really gained a new appreciation for it in, on this farm. That old equipment, that old tired iron, uh, it's been a lot of, uh, a lot of fun. I'm gonna put this over here for now, and then uh, we'll put all this grass equipment away, hopefully in the same area. Now let's go grab our tether, which is under the, uh, it's in the garage, if you can call it a garage. I don't know if I would call it a garage. But I've got it staged out front. I'm not sure if there's something wrong with our chickens, because that's all we got, is one pallet of eggs. They have food. They're just, the eggs are, they're just not spawning. This is an H&S style tether. Not very wide, reliable. I don't know how much I like that animation. I don't know, it looks kind of cool. The The grass is shooting so high, it's, it's definitely dry before it hits the ground. Um, but, um, yeah, I like the animation. Uh, but the animation on the other uh, tethers in the game do the same thing, so. Oh, you know what? I totally forgot. We got to go get our... Um, we got to try to get rid of these. Let me go see if I have the... I think I have it. Yeah, I think we have the stump grinder that goes on the old Massey Ferguson skid steer. All right, I thought I left it over here. What do we call all these trees? All right, so we're going to leave the forks right here for now. I really have to invest in like some new garages or new storage or something. We just don't have enough place for equipment. There we go. Now we have the, uh, let's go get rid of those stumps before it causes any damage to our tether or windrow or baler or tractor. But we've got to be a little bit careful with this because if you go too close to the ground, it'll actually, um, it kind of acts like a uh, like a cultivator or plow, and it'll actually give you a spot of bare ground, so it's terrible grass. Now that's talent. We did not even touch the hay. I think jobs like this are what leave people, whether you are a fan of farm sim or not, I feel like this is the part where it leaves people um, feeling, you know, satisfied. You watch these videos, whether it's, you know, somebody painting or cleaning or tethering grass in straight lines, it has this calming effect. Uh, but for me, as far as like farm sim, one of the reasons I enjoy farm sim so much is that instant gratification, right? I know I'm tethering, and I know I'm I'm being gratified because I'm watching it turn into dried windrow. I'm watching it turn into dried grass. When you're plowing, you're watching you're watching it rip the sod. You're watching a field being creative. You have that instant gratification. But for a lot of people. Especially the live stream. We have a lot of people that don't play farm sim, but they enjoy watching uh, a, a tractor go in a straight line and plow the field or, you know, this part. 
watching the uh, cut grass turn into, you know, dried grass. Or tethered grass. As much as I enjoy this view, check this out. How cool is that? How cool is that animation? Absolutely beautiful. I believe this is one full year, right? In game, I or did we start in August last year? I think we started in August. So this is our 11th month on the farm. And if I remember correctly, we started this struggle farm, this struggle series, by doing the exact same thing. We had to do, we had to mow some grass. We had to do some baling. We had to sell it to buy some equipment. And to buy some fertilizer and to buy some lime. One year, and we're right back to where we start. <laughs> right back to where we started. But again, that's farming. Just about finish. Let's go ahead. Let's back that up so we ain't got to come back here. And then we've got everything. It's the last little bit of grass uh, to tether. And then we'll go grab the wind rower. Uh, I might bring out the smaller tractor for that. I really don't think we need... I could have used it for this. I don't think we need the bigger tractor. Operation Tether is a success. Now we've got to go grab the uh, smaller tractor. And we're going to grab the wind rower so we get this into, into rows. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this over here uh, because... We're going to need the baler and the notch trailer. So I'm actually going to leave the, leave this tractor over here. And we'll put the tether away after. Just so it's closer. The old farm all. We haven't used this a lot. Uh, just because the other tractor is always out. Always convenient. Um, I miss using this thing. It's beautiful. At some point, though, we're going to have to upgrade. But for now, let's just enjoy it. Which way... Which way is this going? Yeah, so we want to start at the other end. Or do we? Yeah, we do. We do. Okay. Alright, let's get this thing lined up here. Uh, I don't have to go that far out. There we are. Oh, that's so cool. I do. I like that animation. I do. It's just, it's really, it's really, really well done. Now, I think we've got to go right up next to it, and that'll be our right that'll be our um no that looks too wide all right let's uh let's redo this yeah that looks a little too wide i think we're we're adding too much to it Now, the problem I'm having is because it's at an angle, right? It's like, I feel like I'm driving crooked, but I'm not. <laughs> it only looks that way. Now, let's take a look. Does this look like it's, a, does it look like it's too wide? That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about it looking like it's too wide. This is going to work out perfectly. Very much perfectly. I 
feel like we're getting... Oh, see, maybe I did go a little too wide. All right, we're definitely going to make it more narrow this time. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get, like, right on top of it. Right? I mean, not that we can't go back and pick up stuff that we missed, but I'm going to get right on top of it. I think I might have found a fix. Uh, for some reason, the working speed on this particular wind roller was like nine miles an hour. And now that I've, I've backed it down to six, seven, uh, I feel like I'm going much straighter and everything's much more organized. And that's how I think we're gonna keep everything keep the rows a little more narrow so we don't have any problems with the baler. I don't know why. Maybe I have the adjustable working speed mod activated, which I didn't mean to. When I'm live streaming farm sim or even making YouTube videos, I often think, like, how would this be in real life? And again, I know nothing about farming. I know... I don't know their hardship. I don't know what they go through. I know they work hard, and I know they work a lot of hours, and they get very little time off. Farmers are the hardest working people I think you'll you'll ever meet. But look at this view, right? Like, look at this. I mean, this is this is your office. This would be your office all day. That's not a bad looking office. It's not a bad looking. It's not a bad way to spend a day. And I know there's days that aren't like this and many of them, but all the other days, whether it's shoveling manure or whatever the case may be, getting dirty, you know, fixing files of, of, you know, fence posts or whatever the case may be. Boy, these days would be worth it, right? This would just, this would be really, really cool. We are incredibly close to getting this done. Um, <clears throat> I don't know how this row got that narrow, but it did. Uh, am I happy with it? No. Am I going to live with it? Yeah, I kind of don't have a choice. We have to live with it. Uh, I think we're also going to have to live with the fact that this row is like a half a row. Uh, but I can live with that because they're all going to be turned into bales anyway, and those bales are going to be turned into money, so I'm actually okay with it either way. We are finished. We are done. We got the mowing done, we got the tattering done, and now we've got the wind rowing done, and now it's time for my favorite part. Let's turn these into bales, and those bales will turn into cash. This is my favorite setup on our entire farm. I just, I like throwing bales. I like the baler with the kicker. I love watching the bales. Uh, get tossed into the notch trailer. It's just so cool. Now, I'm going to do a little something. I'm going to do something a little different that we I don't usually do. Uh, and I've got to do a better job at making these inter interactive. So, you know, people are feel inclined to comment because comments help the video but I would like you guys I would like you guys to uh, make your predictions as far as like how much money are we going to make off the hay so if you have an idea or you want to take a guess let me know in the comments how much money are we going to make today just off the hay. I just learned something really, really cool about this baler. 
Watch. Watch the shoot. I didn't know you could do that. So we could shoot it to one side, fill it up, shoot it to the other side. I didn't know it did that. How many times have we used this baler? And I had no idea it did that. I happened to turn around down there and I was like, why is why are my bales shooting off to the side? And I was like, uh oh, I said, I think my baler's broken. How did that happen? And then I twisted it. Look at that. Now we'll do one off to this side. And now we'll do one right down the middle. How cool is that? I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. All right, this is the last of it. This is fantastic. This will be, um, this will be some easy money. Like I said, I don't think we have to buy any lime. I think we have some uh, all ready to go. I think I did sell the lime spreader. Actually, no, I don't know. We'll have to look around. Like I said, I, I didn't have any storage, so I've been putting this stuff wherever. Wherever. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and unhook this uh, wagon right here so we can bring down the truck and hook it up to it. Let's go clean this, uh, the baler, and so we can put it away. All right, let's go hook up to our um, bale wagon, our hay wagon, and take it on down to the cell point. Take it on down to the cell point. Yeah, there's a hump right there we gotta fix. I think it's where the sign used to be. But I do want to come off that sign over there with some, uh, like, some fence. So we can, like, keep people off our, off our lawns. Stay off my lawn. That's the kind of farm, that's the kind of, like, homeowner I want to be. Stay off my lawn, you kids. All right, we, we're back at the cell, uh, point. Let's go ahead. I think once we park on here, all the bales are just going to disappear. Yes. $6,200. Not Maybe we should have done. I kind of regret not doing silage bales. But I think silage bales would have been kind of difficult. I don't think there's a wrapper for those small bales. We would have had to, like, stack five together, and then I think that's how that works. I'm not sure. But anyway, we got to get back. We've got a uh, chisel to locate and get hooked up to the I found the chisel. I, I've walked by this thing, I don't know how many times, driven by it, walked by it. I had no idea it was in the corner uh, the fence right there. So Now here's what I gotta do. I want this, uh, I want this to kind of be about the same width as this uh, field is. So we are actually going to, um, yeah, I think we're going to start right about here at this rock all right and then so we want to go down and then we want to create field i think there we go all right i think we, we got it well that looks good right that is a 15 shank um chisel so there's 15 shanks on it and it has um at the bottom show you guys real quick it has the uh, it has the spades on the bottom. So this thing is it's uh, international. So it's made by the same company that makes the tractor that we're in. Uh, very old school. There, we've got it all squared up. I've got it all painted up, looking all straight. Oh, we just got to finish uh, finish plowing it in. We'll have a really nice canola field here. I love the way this tractor and uh, chisel plow pair up together. I think it looks great, even with the double tires on the rear. This looks really, really cool together. And I think we're, we're probably a little faster than the actual, you know, the, the IRL speed. 
uh, in real life. I don't know. If somebody knows, do me a favor. Let me know in the chat. I'm not sure how fast uh, farmers plow in real life, especially with this older equipment. Um, I could be entirely wrong. We're going to finish up getting this uh, field plowed. Next time, we'll pick up the rocks. Uh, we'll spread some lime. I did find our lime spreader. Uh, so we're good there. And I think the lime is in our little shed where the garage trigger is, the shop trigger. The little building right over that way. I think I stacked them in there. Uh, let's hope so. Because I, I really don't want to buy any more pallets of lime. There's so much that we've done on this farm. There's so much to be proud of in a short amount of time. In 11 months, in August, we'll have uh, one year of in-game play. Now, some of that has been slept through. You know, obviously, I only have three months, uh, three days per calendar, uh, per calendar month. So, you know, we'll do three days of sleeping, you know, We'll do a day of work, sleep, day of work, sleep, day of work, sleep. We'll wake up in August, so uh, it's not a true uh, year's, true one-year gameplay, but I've stayed true to it. I haven't added money. I haven't, you know, gone crazy with, you know, big fields, big plows, getting jobs done quicker. I really have stuck to this. Um, so I think, here's the plan. I'm going to say 16, right? 16 episodes is probably probably more uh, than most people do with their Farm Sim series. Uh, actually, I really don't know. I haven't really watched too many Farm Sim series on YouTube or uh, anywhere else. But, um... And that, my friends, is going to do it for this episode of The Struggle Farm. Ten episodes. There's only six episodes left. I think. I think we'll do six more. But as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you have any ideas uh, for the next series, the next Farm Sim series, or any suggestions, please, please let me know in the comment. I would absolutely love to. I would love to to uh, hear your thoughts, hear your ideas, suggestions. Um, so I'm having trouble deciding the next the next type of series. But um, this series is still fun. We still have six left, and I'm super super excited. One more time, if you gotten this far and you haven't hit the thumbs up, do me a favor. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, on the video it does help and if you're new here and you like the content you want to see more farm sim truck sim or even uh, Racing or or anything like that do me a favor and sub to the channel We are less than 200 away from our first 1,000 subs over here And I'm super super excited to see where uh, Where this goes or where this channel goes so I appreciate everybody for joining me on this journey on this crazy struggle farm uh that we've been on uh i can say it's been so much fun and i appreciate every single one of you for uh following along or watching it or or liking it or commenting and, and making suggestions so thank you all i hope you guys have a fantastic night i hope you joined uh enjoyed this episode as much as i have and uh, hopefully i'll see you on the next one until then stay safe look after one another and be kind to yourself you deserve it i'll see you on the next one Peace.